Have you ever wondered why diabetes, a seemingly common condition, can have such drastically different impacts on patients? It's a puzzle that continues to intrigue the medical world. To untangle this enigma, dive into the depths of diabetes, specifically type 1 and type 2 diabetes. These two types are the most prevalent and they share the same name, but that's where the similarities end. Type 1 diabetes, also known as juvenile diabetes, is an autoimmune condition. This means the body's immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys the insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. This destruction leads to a complete absence of insulin, a hormone that's crucial for regulating blood sugar. Think of insulin as a key that opens the doors of cells, allowing glucose to enter and provide energy. Without this key, glucose builds up in the bloodstream, leading to high blood sugar levels. On the other hand, Type 2 diabetes is a condition that develops over time and is often associated with lifestyle factors, such as poor diet and lack of exercise. In this case, the body still produces insulin, but the cells become resistant to it. They no longer respond effectively to the insulin key, leading to a similar buildup of glucose in the bloodstream. Despite the different underlying causes, both type 1 and type 2 diabetes result in high blood sugar levels. However, the way these conditions are managed can vary significantly. With type 1 diabetes, because the body cannot produce insulin, treatment involves daily insulin injections or the use of an insulin pump. This external supply of insulin aims to mimic the natural insulin production of the pancreas. Contrastingly, the initial management of type 2 diabetes often involves lifestyle changes. Exercise and a healthy diet can help to reduce insulin resistance. However, if these changes are not enough to control blood sugar levels, medication or insulin therapy may be necessary. To summarize, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition characterized by the body's inability to produce insulin, requiring daily insulin therapy. Type 2 diabetes, however, is typically a lifestyle-related condition characterized by insulin resistance. Initial management often involves lifestyle changes with medication or insulin therapy as potential additions if necessary. In essence, while type 1 and type 2 diabetes share high blood sugar levels as a common symptom, they are fundamentally different conditions with distinct causes and management strategies. In the realm of medicine, understanding these differences is key to providing appropriate care and treatment for patients living with diabetes. Remember, the world of diabetes is a complex one, and there's always more to learn. But with the right knowledge and understanding, we can make strides in managing and potentially preventing this widespread condition.